Hi, it's Pastor Marty. Welcome inside the Pastor Study. It's a Tuesday morning, kind of rainy outside, but I, I like rainy days. And, and this is kind of that quiet rain. And the office and the church, very quiet, very still. I've had a great time in my personal devotions, and I've been working on some things for a brand new series of messages that I'm going to roll out this Sunday. But what an incredible resurrection weekend we had. The Good Friday service, absolutely off the chain. Each one of the speakers we had brought a unique perspective on the sayings of Christ from the cross that really, not only did it minister to me, but I got challenged in a couple of areas about some things I'd never really saw it or thought about it that way before. And that was great. And then Resurrection Sunday, we had seven professions of faith in Christ, and it was just an incredible time of being together with the faith family and celebrating we serve a risen Savior. But now as we move forward, we are back into, I guess you would call it, the plain church routine. Uh, Wednesday night, we'll have our midweek Bible study. I'm beginning a brand new series, Basic Apologetics. Now, don't let the name throw you, because I know as soon as you hear something like that, you're like, oh, this is going to be really deep theology, and, and, and this is going to be like seminary, and, and I'm not interested in that. No, no, nay, nay. Why do you believe what you believe? Do you know how to explain it if you had to defend it? We're going to give you just some basic apologetic laws and principles where you're actually going to um, engage with me a little bit. Not, not the first couple of weeks, but we're going to give you the biblical tools that you need to be able on your own to begin researching what you believe, why you believe it, and what does the Bible actually have to say about it. It's going to be an exciting time. Bring your questions. We'll have coffee. We'll dig into the Word of God. We're going to be dealing with basic apologetics for the next few weeks in our midweek Bible study. And then, of course, our Teen Ignite Youth Group immediately following at 7. But beginning this Sunday, from dream to destiny. Now, some people say, you know, dreamers are very seldom doers, and there is some truth to that. But to do and to do with purpose, personally, I believe it has to start with a dream. You look at a place like Walt Disney World. There are a whole lot of dreamers, not just Walt, but he inspired other people to dream. But then to bring those dreams to a reality. Uh, today, Apple, do they really innovate? Certainly not like they did when Steve Jobs was alive and at the helm of Apple. I mean, he literally dreamed up incredible, not products and technology, but his ideas changed the way we live. They change what we do. Here, when we were listening to CDs, he said, no, 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 no. We can put all that music on a little square about that big, and we can put hundreds, maybe even thousands of songs in something that big that you can put in your pocket with some earbuds, take it everywhere you go. I mean, it was revolutionary. And then, of course, the iPhone and the iMac, and it just has gone on and on and on. Now, Apple continues to develop those, but it began with Steve Jobs. It began as a dream. And so there is something to having a dream and fulfilling your destiny. Don't miss this exciting series of messages because I believe there are a lot of you, you feel maybe a little bit detoured from your dreams, maybe a little bit derailed from your dreams. You know, I say this a lot when I, I, I preach to adults. I ask people, I said, raise your hand if your life didn't turn out exactly like you were thinking when you were 18. And I promise you, every hand goes up. So don't think that you're in the minority. Don't think that you're alone. Don't think that there aren't other people dealing with exactly what you're dealing with and feeling what you're feeling. Let's find out biblically what we have to do to get those dreams on track and see them become a reality. Because within those dreams... It unlocks our destiny. And so that's a brand new series of messages we're going to be doing right here at Plain Church. 
Well, I think that's about all of the updates that I've got for you. Don't forget, coming up at the end of the month, men, it's going to be our men's prayer breakfast. And uh, looking forward to that. That'll begin at 8.30. And then uh, we have a guest speaker coming and going to challenge us from the Word about being men of God within our home, taking on that role, the spiritual priest of our home. So you're not going to want to miss that. That's the last Saturday of April. And then that Sunday following... It's a very special Sunday here. One of our one of our missionaries, I guess you would say, or mission outreaches is Project Hope. That's the Tebby family. Sandy Tebby does counseling in particular with young people. And she offers counseling from a Christian perspective, free of charge, through a mission outreach called Project Hope. And so we're going to be doing something to help her raise some money to be able to help more young people that way. And uh, we'll be having a spaghetti dinner here right after the morning service and then a silent auction. So you're going to want to be a part of all that. Got some exciting, exciting things coming up. And of course, don't forget, uh, next Monday, get your picture taken for our directory. I call that the Faith Family Photo Album. And uh, we're doing a brand new directory and just so many good things that keep happening here at Plain. Why? Because we're anything but ordinary. Come on over. I'll save you a seat.